This sound file contains the spoken version of the Wikipedia article LARD, spoken by the user Athotax. This recording is current as of the 30th of April, 2011. LARD from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Lard is pig fat in both its rendered and unrendered forms. Lard was commonly used in many cuisines as a cooking fat or shortening, or as a spread similar to butter. Its use in contemporary cuisine has diminished because of health concerns, posted by its saturated fat content. Its use in contemporary cuisine has diminished because of health concerns, posted by its saturated fat content and its often negative image. However, many contemporary cooks and bakers favor it over other fats for select uses. The culinary qualities of lard vary somewhat depending on the part of the pig from which the fat was taken and how the lard was processed. Lard is still commonly used to manufacture soap. This article contains nine sections. They are 1. Lard production 2. History and cultural use 3. Culinary use 4. Other uses. 5. Chemical properties. 6. Similar fats. 7. See also. 8. References. 9. External links. An information box is provided in the written form of this article, but will not be included in this recording. Section 1. Lard Production. Lard can be obtained from any part of the pig as long as there is a high concentration of fatty tissue. The highest grade of lard, known as leaf lard, is obtained from the flare, visceral fat deposit surrounding the kidneys and inside the loin. Leaf lard has little pork flavor, making it ideal for use in baked goods, where it is valued for its ability to produce flaky, moist pie crusts. The next highest grade of lard is obtained from fatback the hard subcutaneous fat between the back skin and the muscle of the pig. The lowest grade, for purposes of rendering into lard, is obtained from the soft call fat surrounding digestive organs such as small intestines. Though call fat is often used directly as a wrapping for roasting lean meats or in the manufacture of pâtés, lard may be rendered by either of two processes, wet or dry. In wet rendering, pig fat is boiled in water or steamed at high temperature, and the lard, which is insoluble in water, is skimmed off the surface of the mixture, or it is separated in an industrial centrifuge. In dry rendering, the fat is exposed to high heat in a pan or oven without the presence of water, a process similar to frying bacon. Wet rendered lard has a more neutral flavor, a lighter color, and a high smoke point. Dry rendered lard is somewhat more browned in color and flavor and has relatively lower smoke point. Industrially produced lard, including much of the lard sold in supermarkets, is rendered from a mixture of high and low quality fat sources from throughout the pig. To improve stability at room temperature, lard is often hydrogenated, a process that should not be confused with partial hydrogenation of vegetable oils, which creates unhealthy trans fats. Hydrogenated lard sold to consumers typically contains fewer than 0.5 grams of trans fats per 13 gram serving. Lard is also often treated with bleaching and deodorizing agents, emulsifiers, and antioxidants, such as EHT. These treatments make lard more consistent and prevent spoilage. Untreated lard must be refrigerated or frozen to prevent rancidity. Consumers seeking a higher quality source of lard typically seek out artisanal producers of rendered lard or render it themselves from leaf lard or fat fat. A byproduct of dry rendering lard is deep fried meat, skin, and membrane tissue known as cracklings. Section 2 History and Cultural Use Lard has always been an important cooking and baking staple in cultures where pork is an important dietary item the fat of pigs often being as valuable a product as their meat. During the 19th century, lard was used in similar fashion as butter in North America and many European nations. Lard was also held at the same level of popularity as butter in the early 20th century and was widely used as a substitute for butter during World War II. As a readily available byproduct of modern pork production, lard had been cheaper than most vegetable oils, 
and it was common in many people's diet until the Industrial Revolution made vegetable oils more common and more affordable. Vegetable shortenings were developed in the early 1900s, which made it possible to use vegetable-based fats in baking and in other uses where solid fats were called for. By the late 20th century, lard had begun to be considered less healthy than vegetable oils, such as olive and sunflower oil, because of its high saturated fatty acid and cholesterol content. However, despite its reputation, lard has less saturated fat, more unsaturated fat, and less cholesterol than an equal amount of butter by weight. Unlike many margarines and vegetable shortenings, unhydrogenated lard contains no trans fat. It has also been regarded as a poverty food. Many restaurants in the Western nations have eliminated the use of lard in their kitchens because of the religious and health-related dietary restrictions of many of their customers. Many industrial bakers substitute beef tallow for lard in order to compensate for the lack of mouthfeel in many baked goods and free their food products from pork-based dietary restrictions. However, in the 1900s and early 2000s, the unique culinary properties of lard became widely recognized by chefs and bakers, leading to a partial rehabilitation of this fat among foodies. This trend has been partially driven by negative publicity about the trans fat content of the partially hydrogenated vegetable oils in vegetable shortening. Chef and food writer Rick Bayless is a prominent proponent of the virtues of lard for certain types of cooking. It is also again becoming popular in the United Kingdom among aficionados of traditional British cuisine. This led to a lard crisis in early 2006 in which British demand for lard was not met due to demand by Poland and Hungary, who had recently joined the European Union, for fatty cuts of pork that had served as an important source of lard. Section 3. Culinary Use an information box titled Lard is included in this section with the following information. Nutritional value per 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. Energy, 3,765.6 kJ or 900.0 kcal. Carbohydrates, 0 grams. Fat, 100 grams. Saturated, 39 grams. Monounsaturated, 45 grams. Polyunsaturated, 11 grams. Protein, 0 grams. Cholesterol, 95 milligrams. Zinc, 0 0.1 milligrams. Selenium, 0 0.2 milligram. Fat percentage can vary. Percentages are relative to U.S. recommendations for adults. An information table is provided in this section as well, but it will not be read in this recording. It is titled, Comparative Properties of Common Cooking Fats per 100 Grams. Lard is one of the few edible oils with a relatively high smoke point attributable to its high saturated fatty acids content. Pure lard is especially useful for cooking since it produces little smoke when heated and has a distinct taste when combined with other foods. Many chefs and bakers deem lard a superior cooking fat over shortening because of lard's range of applications and taste. Because of the relatively large fat crystals found in lard, it is extremely effective as a shortening in baking. Pie crusts made with lard tend to be more flaky than those made with butter. Many cooks employ both types of fat in their pastries to combine the shortening properties of lard with the flavor of butter. Lard was once widely used in the cuisines of Europe, China, and the New World, and still plays a significant role in British, Central European, Mexican, and Chinese cuisines. In British culture, lard is used as a traditional ingredient in mince pies and Christmas puddings, lardy cake, and for frying fish and chips, as well as many other uses. Lard is traditionally one of the main ingredients in Scandinavian pâté lever postel. In Catalan cuisine, lard is used to make the dough for a pastry known as ascoca. In the Balearics particularly, Insamade's dough also contains lard. An image is provided with the caption, A slice of bread spread with lard was a typical staple in traditional rural cuisine of many countries. Lard consumed as spread on bread was once very common in Europe and North America, especially those areas where dairy fats and vegetable oils were rare. 
As the demand for lard grows in the high-end restaurant industry, small farmers have begun to specialize in heritage hog breeds with higher body fat contents than the leaner modern hog. Breeds such as the Mangalista hog of Hungary or Large Black of Great Britain are experiencing an enormous resurgence to the point that breeders are unable to keep with that demand. Lard generally refers to wet rendered lard in English, which has a very mild neutral flavor, as opposed to the more noticeably pork flavored dry rendered lard, which is also referred to as dripping or schmalz. Dripping or schmalz sandwiches are still popular in several European countries. In Hungary, they're known as Zirondskinjer or Zirondinska, and in Germany, pork fat is seasoned to make Fettbim. Similar snacks are sometimes served with beer in Poland, Czech Republic, and Slovakia. They are generally topped with onions, served with salt and paprika, and eaten as a side dish with beer. All of these are commonly translated on menus as lard sandwiches, perhaps due to the lack of familiarity of most contemporary English native speakers with dripping. Attempts to use Hungarian zir or Polish smalek in British recipes calling for lard will soon reveal the difference between the wet rendered lard and dripping. In Taiwan, Hong Kong, as well as many parts of mainland China, lard was often consumed mixed into cooked rice along with soy sauce to make lard rice. This is less commonly served in modern times due to concerns with saturated fats. Section 4. Other Uses An image is provided with the caption, 1916 Advertisement for Lard Produced by Swift & Company. Rendered lard can be used to produce biofuel and soap. Lard is also useful as a cutting fluid in machining. Its use in machining has declined since the mid-20th century as other specifically engineered cutting fluids became prominent. Its use in machining has declined since the mid-20th century as other specifically engineered cutting fluids became prominent. However, it is still a viable option. Section 5. Chemical Properties Pigs that have been fed different diets will have lard with a significantly different fatty acid content and iodine value. Peanut-fed hogs, or the acorn-fed pigs raised for Jamon Iberico, therefore produce a somewhat different kind of lard compared to pigs raised in North American farms that are fed corn. Section 6. Similar Fats Cooking fat obtained from cattle or sheep is known as suet or tallow. The fat of chickens, ducks, or geese has no special English name, except in Jewish cuisine, where it is known as schmaltz. Bacon grease is sometimes also used in a culinary capacity. Section 7. See also. Lardy cake, an English bread with heavy lard content. Section 8. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 9. External links. External links are provided in the written form of this article, but will not be read here. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Lard. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash vy dash sa slash 3.0